Hey, what is up guys? The Michigan Minecrafter back here with another video, and today I wanted to do something that I probably should have done a while ago. I mean, it would have made sense, and that is um, a shader mod review. So basically what I want to do is go through all of my favorite shaders from the most resource intensive on your computer to the least resource intensive, um, and just short of... Sort of, just sort of show you um, the different things that the different shaders have to offer, um, and then from there you guys can sort of decide uh, what kind of shader would work best for your setup. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first one that I want to show you is uh, Sonic Ether's uh, Unbelievable Shader Preview One, which is by far the most resource intensive and I think that has something to do with the fact that um, uh, the lighting is super duper intense and for some reason that seems to um, be a determining factor in just how laggy the shader is um, but the water looks really cool I'll give it that and definitely the shadows and the waving of the grass is cool but I think that also is part of why it lags so much if you see the grass over there waving um, but yeah so it's a pretty cool shader um, and the second one I want to show you is Sonic Ether's unbelievable shader preview 2 which is a bit more of an updated version of it so if we click on that there we go um, so with this sh oh whoops I think it's raining so let me turn that off toggle down fall if I had a dollar for every time I had to do that during a recording oh what okay apparently it wasn't raining before that this is what it looks like when it rains jeez that's laggy okay there we go um why is it so overcast I'm not sure why that is um so Part of what they did that changed with uh, this version of the shader is they toned down the brightness of the colors and stuff a lot. And I, I really want to show you guys what it looks like to the full extent. Is there something going on that's preventing it from being as pretty? Come on. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, usually it is a bit more pretty than this. Other than the sky, for some reason the sky seems to be a little bit bugged. They're probably going to change that in the future, but it's got like weird lines along it. It probably has something to do with like Optifine, but yeah, I won't bother messing around with it. So then the next version, and maybe the lighting will be a little better in this one, is um, basically the same thing as that uh, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders Preview 2, except for this one has motion blur. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, this is what it's supposed to... Or, actually, no, maybe this is uh, motion blur for Preview 1, because the brightness is uh, very bright, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, so basically what this one does is it sort of blurs um, your surroundings when you move around. So if I'm in first person and I'm like running or something, then it kind of looks cool. But obviously this works a lot better if you have a more powerful computer because it sort of almost makes it look more realistic as far as movement goes. But it's really hard to demonstrate when you don't have a very powerful computer. So I'll just move on to the next one, which is... What do we want to do next? Um, we got Paolo's Lagless Shaders. Now, these two are basically the same other than water. So I'm just going to stick with the original one. And uh, you guys will probably recognize this uh, from some of the other videos I've done before. Uh, as far as like the water and stuff goes, I think I used this when I recorded the original map tour video, and I've used it every once in a while when it comes to like trailers. Like I think the Jerry Run trailer was done with this one, and uh, the UP trailer was done with this one. So yeah, this is a this is probably one of my favorite shaders, just because it runs a bit better. Although I am getting a bit more frame lag than usual just because I'm recording. But yeah, the water just looks really amazing with this shader. Um, yeah, so 
<laughs> it's a lot of fun to mess around with because um like you can see like the reflections and stuff and uh oh that's kind of weird it doesn't necessarily uh always work completely realistic i think that's the reflection of my body really huge on the water down there but that's just sort of the way that it makes the shadows um so yeah that's it for that shader pretty much oh the last thing i wanted to show about it is unlike um the sonic ethers shaders um even though the sun like if you look up into the sky with the sonic ethers shaders um the sun is really bright but this particular shader makes it so that there's sun rays and i don't know if you can see this you're probably not going to be able to see it if you're watching this video in low quality but you can kind of see how uh, when the sun is moving in and out from behind my head, there's like these very teeny tiny little rays of sun poking out, which I think is really cool and uh, definitely adds to the shader. So, oh, can we see it from when I'm holding control? That's kind of weird. It doesn't work the same way when I'm holding control. So, yeah. Um, now we can move on to the next one which is uh, Dr. Dredd's shaders. So this one is definitely the least laggy of all of them. As you can see, I'm getting some nice frame rate right here. Um, if that's a thing that people say, I don't think that's a thing that people say. Nice frame rate. But um, so uh, as you can see, it doesn't really do anything to the water. And unless you look kind of closely it kind of just looks like normal minecraft although some of the colors are a little bit more um, like deep I guess um, just sort of like a darker color to some of the blocks like you could really see it with grass and uh, that sort of stuff but not a whole lot different and when you get close to an area uh, s shadows start to show up but you have to be like really close to it like um, like if I fly up a little bit more slowly, you can sort of see the shadows of the blocks and the grass right here. But if I fly up just a little ways, they're completely gone. So that's part of what keeps this shader really, really um, not intense on your computer. It's just the fact that it's not rendering all those shadows the same way that the more intense shaders are. And the great part is that even though this is sort of a really toned down version of a shader, um, it still has the cool sun flares that you usually get with shaders and the sun rays, just like with um, uh, Paolo's Lagless shaders. And it's kind of interesting. I don't know, you guys could probably see this in the recording, but it makes a cool outline of uh, my skin almost, like um, just a dark sort of uh, halo effect around my skin but yeah so definitely some cool stuff to mess around with with these shaders and obviously uh, I've got quite a variety here ranging from super duper intense on the computer uh, like completely unplayable to ones like this which um, if you only use it for a short period of time it is definitely something that I could you know, go and play Hunger Games with or something like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, yeah, slap that like button and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see all you guys in the next video.